it's a great opportunity I got, especially my coach that let me come here and sign me up for this. I think it's going to be a very good game. I have a lot. I just, this is a great experience. I have no words for it. It's just it's a wonderful time. And sure. I'm just excited uh, that Bowie invited our guys out to see what the college atmosphere is like, to see what HBCU football is like. And it's a good uh, experience for those guys. So I'm excited for, for the day. Yes, our first home game, what are your comments? I am excited. I'm very pumped up for the team. And I'm so happy to finally have them at home. And we'll be competing against Winston-Salem today. And I am just thrilled. The team is on fire this season, and I'm, I'm having a great feeling about today. Can't wait for them to hit the field. What would you like to say to our football players? Oh, I want to see them win the championship this year. Do it, do it, die right here. There you go, get down, get down. Bulldog community has definitely been waiting for their Bulldogs to come home for a home game. This is one of their three home games this season, and I can't wait for them to start sharing. And Abrams runs out the starters for your Bulldogs. Mears going to drop back to pass. He's going to find it over the middle. That's going to be a gain of about seven. Time, what adjustments do you need to think need to be made? Oh, we got fun. We got finish in the uh, red zone offensively. We got to finish in the red zone and play better special teams, and we'll be in good shape. Okay, for the message after halftime, what would you go in the locker room telling his players? It was four quarters a game. We played not, not a good half, and we're going to come out and play a better half this time. Okay, thank you very much, Coach. Okay. Second down and four. Second and four at the 47. Under two minutes to play in this contest. Winston Salem clinging to a five point lead. Bulldog's gonna drop back. Mir's gonna run. He's got space to the 40. It's down. First down, Bulldogs. Amir Hall scrambles. He's 31 yard line. The surgeon is in the operating room, ladies and gentlemen. 142 to go. We're gonna mark him down at the 34 yard line. Oh, it's second. It's third and ten from the 34 from the Bulldogs. This is four down territory. They will have two chances at this. They still have two timeouts. They're going to spread four receivers out wide. Abrams Abram on his left. Abrams moves to his left side. Hall drops back to pass. He has a receiver! It's caught! It's a touchdown! It's a touchdown! Touchdown! Bulldogs! Amir Hall with the great miracle at Bulldog Stadium! He is the son of CC for the game winner! The surgeon has done it again at Bulldog Stadium! How about that? The Black Heisman winner comes through in the clutch once again. Doug Williams, Player of the Year winner. Deacon Jones, Black Heisman Award winner. Amir Hall, the thrill of the game. He has struggled today, but when his team needed him the most, Hall has come in in the clutch and has given Bowie the lead. Ball's going to drop back to pass. Bro, it's caught. Cool. complete it. 20 to 17. Bulldogs lead. The surgeon does it again on the two-point conversion. What a call by Coach Ware, the offensive coordinator. What another call but to go for the two-point conversion. That had to be Coach Wilson. That had to be Coach Wilson. You can see the coach. I don't know which coach this is right here. But he is pumping up his boy. And look at Amir Hall. Look at the emotion on the team captain's face. After making that play, he's had two picks on the day. But when his team needed him the most, he comes into the clutch. Hall to Cisse. And that could be your game winner. The Bulldogs will advance to four and one on the year, two and zero oh in conference play. Last play we talked about in the locker room. I kept telling my receiver, "We're due for one, man. We're due for one. We're due for one." Like I said, shout out to Winston Salem, man. I, those guys play us so tough every year. Every year we get their best shot. They make me read the field. Coaches, just a lot of love for that university and. 
I can't, I, man, I'm speechless right now. Winston, man, like I said, every year, they test my patience. They test my patience. I was just eager to, to hurry up and get a touchdown. So a lot of times they would just drop. Underneath stuff was open, but they was just testing my patience to see if I'd take those deep shots. But you got the ball. only one thing I got to say, I got a team full of fighters. That's it. I got a team full of fighters. A room full of dogs, man. Like I said, last year scoring all those points. Every game is not going to be just 60, 80 points, and we got to understand that. And we got to take practice serious and everything. But I know what I got in that locker room. I got a team full of dogs that's willing to go to go to battle for me every game, and I can't thank them enough. Okay. So exactly on that last drive, what was going through your head? Oh, it's a touchdown. Touchdown. We had it, we had it to play before, but I think I took the check down. But he called it, and I looked at Muhammad and just said, man, we got to make it happen. He made it happen for me. So okay. that's, all I, that's all I was thinking about was touchdown.